So we've got the rail in place now. We've got it at the exact height at several points along there. I think we've measured in, in five areas and we've got 45 mil exactly. We want this drive to look absolutely perfect. Now you can see where it's being supported there, but now we need to support it under the bar where there's no stone dust now to ensure that when we screed off that it's not going to drop down and taking it lower than what we need to be. One thing that I should add and just uh, give you some uh, a real a top tip that when you're choosing your, your bedding layer, you've got to make sure that you use uh, either a real good sharp sand or a six mil uh, limestone to dust, which basically it will bind together, it'll maintain its integrity, but it also has a porosity value. Now, all too often you'll see in some situations people using sand that is basically building sand. Building sand isn't the right product to use. It doesn't allow the water to run through and it will jellify and start moving around. Your blocks will start moving around as well. Unlike when you have a very sharp sand. Now, the fact is that across the country, a lot of places uh, haven't got the sharp sand like they used to have years ago because of the dredging rights and what's been going on. And what they do, they tend to mix a recycled product, okay, a byproduct and they put building sand as well they mix it together hoping that it's going to be it has that real porosity value and basically it doesn't so you've got to make sure you use the right product to bed your blocks on Okay, one of the things that we never mentioned at the start is some of the tools that you may need for your driveway installation. Okay, well, these are some of the tools that can help you install your driveway. So basically a shovel, not expensive. We've got a spiral, spirit level to achieve the, the correct levels. We've got a rake. We've got a couple of brick trowels here. We have a plastic float. Plastic float is so important to smooth off the top once you're screeding your stone desk back. String lines are imperative when doing any installation and using steel pins to achieve the correct height. A lamp hammer, not expensive again. Tape measures, so important, so accurate. Set squares, so, so important. And in this case, we've just got a very basic cheap straight edge that we bought from B&Q for about six pounds. Then of course we've got a wheelbarrow. You add it. 